Hey guys, today we're going to drain a high efficiency furnace. This is for my shop. I don't have no indoor drains, so we have to drain it to the outdoors. So let's get started. All right, there's the plenum. I have it up in the, in the loft upstairs, and there's the gas line. We're going to take it across underneath all this, go down that wall, and to the outdoors. All right, here's the tools and the materials. Quarter inch J hooks. I see them fitting, I see them at the stores. Like, you know what? I'm going to buy them for this shop. Got a heat tape for the end of the drain line. I got two different PVC cutters. One's just like a serrated, you know, you, you squeeze it with your hands. That's easier for the thinner wall. And I got the ratcheting ones, which is better for the thicker wall PVC, which I have today. I got some paddle bits to make some holes. Got some glue, T-square. We can measure out those J-hooks going down. Silicone, got an impact drill, I got a chuck drill. I got a spotter bit, I got my light, I got a bucket of old fittings, I got 90s, 45s, couplings, all for three quarter, got a big stack of pipe, got red Midwest snips, and you got a flathead screwdriver, I got a scratch all, I got you know the hammer, and I got a tape measure, and I think that's all the tools and material. Let's get started. Alright, let's run upstairs and show you what this is all about. And we'll start from up there. There we are. We got a Comfort Maker G9 MXT. Sucks from the top from the upstairs and blows down. Heats very well. And there is the bucket. And I'll show you how I drain it. All right. Now we can get this bucket out of here for once and for all. Out of here. All right. <clears throat> Brought chuck drill with a spotter bit, tape measure, inch and eighth paddle bit should be plenty big enough for the drain line outside diameter. And here's one tool I didn't speak of: the marker. But we can't go straight down. Just from my previous experiences, so we're just gonna have to we're gonna cut the hole over here and just gonna make it work with a couple 45s and a leave it a T for future AC. We'll see if it's gonna work. And there's our spotter bit. It's gonna basically go straight down and look like it's gonna work out just fine. Let's get this spotter bit out of here. Bit in. We're gonna drill us a hole. Brought the cutters, got some glue, and full of fittings, and this should pop off because I never glued it. Oop. All right. So this is going to be way farther down than I need it to be. I'll use this for the bottom piece and I can cut that as needed below. Three quarter inch PVC drain, it's not pressurized. So it really doesn't need primer. I've never had one leak just using the glue. So we will continue to run with that. Just like that. Have the T face this way. Or I can have it face that way. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have it face this way so when it comes over here, I can pick up the future coil and keep it nice and tight. Okay. Next step is I'm going to actually just probably just put the T right there. One tool I did forget was my level. With these fittings, I like to glue both sides. The reason for the T on the top of this is actually for a vent. Now we got a couple 45s. Gotta eye these out. We always measure them, but first off, let's get a big piece cut. We'll have this 45 point towards that straight piece going up and down. And 
that work out. Two live on these pieces down here. That turned out pretty good. I would say so. That, and we got our little four inch piece. We won't glue that one, but there. So we're just gonna put a piece of nipple in there and a 90 point up. On a later date, I can just cut that off, add a coupling and a couple 45s or whatever and hook to my uh, coil I'll put in there. All right, back downstairs and there's where the pipe sticks down. You know, well past the floor joist. All right, now we will get my T-square and measure all those going all the way down so we can have a nice straight line for the J-hook. All right, now since I got that all measured out, now I'm ready for the little J-hooks right there. I'm probably going to go close to the joist, keep maybe like an inch off from over here. And about every foot, about an eighth of an inch for the fall. So we will start nailing these up and get them all measured up. Alright, there's the marks I made. And I put it on the edge, so you foul that right, you know, that's the side of the edge of the pipe. So we'll nail it about like, something like that for the first one. Yep, from here it looks like we got about inch and five eighths. All right, let's get a measurement to see roughly where ten foot's gonna get us. Got six feet right there. About eight, about ten foot's about gonna be right. Ten foot's gonna be right there. All right, here's our eight foot mark from where the pipe is. We're gonna add a you know an inch and eighth for, you know, per foot, so we're gonna go two and five eighths since our last measurement at that pipe was inch and five eighths where the uh, last J hook was. All right, now we're ready for our first piece of pipe. All right, now we're ready to put a 90 on this thing. We're gonna glue it down to this first. We have a little play back and forth, and this can be moved. You know, I can slide that right into the fitting. So let's get this cut. There you go. Well, now we got a nice drain. No bellies are in it. It has a nice slope to it. We're on our way. All right, we're gonna get our measurement for the bottom of the pipe here, which is two and three quarter. Here's our eight foot mark again. So we're at two and three quarter over there. We got eight foot. So we gotta do three and three quarter for our J hook. Now we have the pipe to connect to. We'll just rest this on this one J hook, glue a coupling on here and, and onto the other pipe. Well, looks like we're gonna be going right towards that beam. So when we get, we're gonna do a little bit closer piece of pipe, and then we're gonna offset with a couple 45s to go 
probably to the right side of that. We got three and seven eighths there. That should be four feet. Yes, it is. So we're gonna be doing four and three eighths. We'll make this piece 32 inches long. Let's get our 32 inch piece cut. Alright, I changed my mind. I'm going to go on the left side of that beam and we got to move some stuff. Alright, we'll dry fit this. So we have both fittings butt up to each other. We will clear that beam. Alright. We're going to do that about inch and a half, that's where it'll fit snugly in both fittings. That looks pretty good. Alright, once we glue this on here, we want to have slope downwards, we don't have to have one pointing upwards. should be nice and neat except for my fingerprints all over it let's get like a rough idea like what that's gonna be for the side of that pipe and I'm gonna say a half an inch off that beam all right I grabbed a piece of pipe set it in there and I found one clamp I thought I had more inch clamps but I don't so we're only gonna be using one I got it Push behind that beam so I got about a half inch there and put a zip screw to hold the other side in. Voila! And now we can freely, we can put a 90 on top of that, move it up and down freely and get our measurement from going left to right. Looks like we're going to need a 7 and three quarters seven and seven eighths we're gonna go with seven seven eighths all right let's get our piece glued in there there's a little bit of weight on it so we will probably put a j-hook right here just to hold this top part oh yeah and the j-hook's about half inch deep so that helps us out so we can nail it right to this beam. All right. We'll probably cut it off out right here. We're just going to go ahead and just glue that 45 right now, pointing straight outside. All right, since we got that glued on there, we're going to just gonna eye this out where it's going to go. We're going to cut the hole a bit bigger so we can fit the heat tape and the, the wire out there to wrap around the outside. So yeah, we'll say about right here. And we'll say about right here. And we'll just go right around that ridge. And once that's against there, we can make that happen. There we go. Made a center point. Now we're going to go out the outside and cut a hole. Here's where we are. And did I bring my marker? Yes, I did. I remember the marks I kind of made inside. It was a little bit taller. And there we are, clean it up a little bit, ready to stick a piece of pipe out here. All right, let's get a piece of pipe, and I think this should be 
clearly long enough. That'd be more than enough to wrap it around a couple times and do what we have to do all side. All right, we're gonna use a piece of pipe and a 45 just to point it downwards, just like so. That looks like a good length. And I think we're gonna do one more 45 down here. All right, got the 45. Let's glue this puppy on here. Perfect. Now we're ready for some heat tape. All right, this is the shortest one I could buy. And I looked at the instructions. We can can't wrap it. We have to go on the side of the pipe, but we can, can backtrack it outside so I can go down and back up and leave this end outside. So we will poke this out right now. Plenty of space between the sheet metal and the, the pipe, so it's not going to be in contact with the edge of that sheet metal. All right. We are ready for heat tape. Let's get it all zip tied. I think we should silicone this first. Ready for some insulation now. All right, let's finish the indoor portion. And um, you only can have one bend in it in the direction, so I have to go straight up and strap the thermostat a little bit higher. Like I stated earlier, this is the shortest heat tape I can find. At the short notice so it's just kind of is what it is with this situation but we're about ready to plug this thing in and check it out all right we're ready for 110 volts this is plugged into a gfci these call for it can never be too safe but here's the finished product in all its glory Warm to the touch. Let's go check out the outside. It's doing its job. All right, it's been running for a little bit. Pull our little thing off. See that water moving in there? It's definitely draining. All right, that's the end. We we're successful. We had we drained that furnace to the outdoors, and this is experimental. So I will probably make a Another video, you know, around February, March to see how it went. Other than that, thanks for tuning in, guys.